right, well, hello and welcome, everybody. It is Sunday, March 8th, 2020, and tonight I'm coming at you guys with floor system test number 48. So this test is going to be a little bit different. I have some uh, unique changes to show you guys, and I really hope you'll enjoy. So I'm just going to get right down to it tonight, and um, all the updates and everything else I have to share with you guys will come after uh, the test. So let's start with uh, going over everything. Of course, as usual, both the 4010 and the 4005 are powered up and ready to go. On the 4010, I have the uh, 4099 9003 as per usual, the enunciator on the 4005, and for the pole station on the 4005, it is one of my Simplex 4251-20T bars. I finally, finally, finally changed this pole station out. And um, this is the oldest one I have. It's the um, older style uh, 4251-20 with the non-slanted, um, the non-notched T-bar and the older style key lock. Now, as far as devices on the Simplex 4010, I have my Simplex True Alert 4906-9138 um, multi-candela, multi-tone horn strobe. Um, I upped the candela setting on this to 75 candela, and I um, have the tone set to bell. This is a um, multi-tone horn strobe. Like I said, it can do a lot of different tones. I thought I had it set to uh, the 500 megahertz horn, which I might have already done in a previous video. I don't know. I think the last video, I think the last system test I did at my dad's house, um, right after I got this alarm off of eBay, I think I did the 500 hertz horn, but I can't remember. Um, but either way, it's set to bell this time. It's doing code 3, um, 75 candela. I have uh, NAC 2 resistored off. So that'll not be used, and NAC1 is set to um, uh, True Alert Smart Sync on the 4010. Now, on the 4005, I have an alarm I have not used in a very long time. This is my Simplex 2901-9806 horn on the 2903-9001 light plate. Um, this is my first time using an electromechanical horn over here at my mom's house. So this thing will be run very shortly when I do test it. Um, I don't want to run it for too long since um, these things are incredibly loud. And, um, you know, unlike electric horns, they, uh, they vibrate. So um, they create a lot of noise. So this will be run for a very short time. But um, I have this set up a little differently um, with how I have it wired and programmed on the panel. I have the horn and the light wired separately. I did have them wired together. I um, wired the horn to NAC1 and I wired the light to NAC2. And how I have it set on the panel is the horn is doing slow march and the light is doing fast march. And I actually got this idea from a YouTube video I saw several, several years back. Um, there's a YouTuber by the name of Black Maxima. Um, some of you may have seen his videos. He's done a lot of fire alarm tests, um, you know, in some high-rise buildings and stuff like that. The guy's pretty cool. He hasn't uploaded a fire alarm test in a little while, but he's a fire alarm technician and uh, has uploaded a few videos of um, fire alarm tests in buildings. Anyway, um, he uploaded a video, a cell phone video, which is of very low quality, um, which showcased a Simplex 4005 system in an apartment building with uh, 9806 horns on 9001 light plates where the panel was coding the horns to slow march and the lights were uh, flashing on fast march. So very different setup and I commented on the video like four years ago, oh I'm so going to try this with my 4005 and uh, I never did so I finally am. So very different tonight, um, not the typical not the average typical system. So I'm going to start off with the 4010 and the True Alert. We're going to set that off, and then I will move on to the 4005, and we'll uh, we'll really make some noise. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, 4010. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, 
and that strobe is clicking away. Like I said, it's on 75 Candela. I had left this thing on 15, but now it's on 75, and holy cow, does that make a difference? That thing is much brighter. So, anyway, let's uh, reset the pole station. I'm going to put the camera down, reset the pole station. While I do that, I'm going to put on hearing protection because the 9806 is a very loud alarm. Let me do this really quick. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to reset the 4010. System reset in progress. Let's let that reset. All right, that's the reset of the 4010. All right, now here's where we move on to making a lot of noise. I'm a little bit scared to do this, to be honest. I'm hoping my neighbors won't uh, flip out, but I'm only gonna, it's doing slow march. I'm only gonna run it for about uh, three or four cycles. I know some of you might be disappointed about that, but like I said, I'm really trying to be a good neighbor here, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull the 4251-20 and uh, oh, let's get this over with. Three, two, one. All right. There we go. That was it. So as you guys can see, the uh, 4005 is coding the light to fast march time. I think this is a pretty neat setup to actually see something like this in a building um, with what I saw in the video, in the fire alarm inspection video. I thought that was pretty cool. So now I'm going to set the camera down again. We're going to reset the 4251-20. I thought this pulse station would be very fitting to have with this alarm. It's uh, What I have here is a pretty um, average... Um, what I have here is a pretty average 1970s um, simplex system minus the 4005. You know, if this was a real building, you could pretend the 4005. My hand is shaking like crazy. My apologies, guys. Um, you could pretend the 4005 was like a replacement for an old 4002 or possibly even a, a um, 2001 system. So um, anyway... Um, there's the light doing fast march time and the horn was doing slow march. So let's put a reset in the 4005. And while that resets, I'll just share a couple updates with you guys. I, um, talked to my coworker Bob, who I told you guys about a couple videos ago, a really cool guy who used to work in the fire alarm industry. He told me last week he, um, reached out to some of his contacts that are still, um, in the industry um, and he asked him to be on the, on the lookout for parts and stuff like that. So um, he's working on getting some parts for me, which is very um, kind of him. So I'm looking forward to that, if uh, anything happens with that. And uh, for the next system test, I'm hoping to um, have more um, electromechanical horns. I'm hoping to do more since I, I have um, several more electromechanical horns up there. I don't know about the 4051. That thing, um, it needs a polarization diode and stuff like that. And it, it really, when I, um, when I had the, um, 4004, it was really screwing up the last 4004 panel I had. So I don't know about using that, but I would like to use more electromechanical horns. And, um, for system test 50, for floor system test 50, um, I think I might have something big plans for that might uh, add a few wires and add a few extra devices and uh, do something fun so um, much more to look forward to guys uh, stay tuned like comment subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching that'll be it